Hey guys, welcome back to East Custom Creations, and today I'm going to show you guys how to drive a Toro Dingo and how to load it on a trailer. So let's jump right in. Okay, so first things first, here we have the control panel, and this is a walk-behind unit. Okay guys, I'm just going to stop the video right here just to apologize for all the wind noise in the background. There wasn't much I can do about it. It was a really windy day. I tried to clean it up in post, but it didn't do much. Let's jump right back into the video. So, this big lever right here controls forwards, this is forwards, and this is backwards, and this is side to side. So as you're going forwards, you can push to one side and turn, or you can go backwards and turn at the same time. And that is probably one of the two most important knobs on Toro Dingo, because that's your driving, that's the uh, second most important one. The most important one I would call is your loader joystick. So this is your loader control. You pull it backwards, it goes up. If you push it forwards, it goes down. If you push it all the way forwards, you'll feel this little detent right here. And it'll click in. That's called float. So that means the hydraulic cylinder that controls your boom arm is now just free. So if you're going up, the bucket will just go over like hills. That's really great for grading. So now if you put it backwards, it's the position. This way is to curl your bucket, and this way is to dump your bucket. So, when you start curling, you start to dump backwards. So, next, we have your throttle. Uh, this is your throttle right here. This is the turtle, which means slow, and rapid, which means fast. So, right now I have it at probably three quarter to half throttle. And that's usually a good place to run it. If you're a really experienced operator, I sometimes like to run it all the way to rabbit because then you get more control in the joystick and you get to go faster. Second thing is a choke. You shouldn't need to use this that much unless you haven't started your dingo in a long time. And this lever, not a lot of people use because it's an auxiliary attachment. So those little hydraulic ports on the front, this is what this is for. So you can do forward flow, reverse flow. Most of the time, just don't touch this unless you have like an auger or a grapple. And finally, you have the key. So I'll start it up. I'll put you guys at a different position. You all run through the motions with you. Okay, so I'm just going to start it up. And I won't be able to talk much because it's a pretty loud machine, but you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys something very important. If you get multiple attachments with your dingo, because there's many of attachments. You can get forks, a bucket, uh, rakes, a lot of things. And you'll see on your dingo, you have these two silver levers right here. This one and this one. And to remove your bucket and add on another attachment, what you do is you really want to fling these forward all the way to the other position. So you'll see it flip all the way around. I'll flip this one all the way around. And now, what you would do is, I'll just start the dingo real quick and show you guys. So you see, if you curl the bucket and slowly back out of it, your bucket will come off. And then you can just do the opposite to reattach it.
So now you guys can see I got the bucket reattached. We can just flip these levers back. Sometimes they get stuck like this one is right now. So you can jump on the bucket a little bit and then it usually will flip right back down. If you're having problems with alignment, sometimes you just got to wiggle the bucket around and it will line up. But don't be scared that, oh, I broke it. Because how these pins work is when you pull it up, they come out and there's a little bit bitty hole underneath the bucket. And that's what those pins slide into so then you can't go anywhere. So that's it, guys. Next, we'll show you how to load it on the trailer. Okay guys, so in this instance I only have one chain binder, so I'm going to loop this through the back of the trailer. Okay, so you guys can see that I got this loop through these D-rings on my equipment. And then back to here. And how to get this tight is I'm just going to start it up. And I just pulled it forward right there. So now, that chain's fairly tight. Don't need to get too crazy. front with the chain binder and we'll hook that part up. Okay, so now we're going to uh, hook down the front. So I've already looped it through. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yes, you can. Okay. So I've already looped it through these D-rings on the equipment, which is where you're supposed to tie it down. And always use those tie-down points that the manufacturer gives you. So now I'm going to loop it through here.
gonna hook this one under here. This one somewhere there. And you always want to have it facing up. You always want to put it on there. Then that wasn't tight enough, so then we can go up another couple of links. How these work is there's a point where you just break up the half. It's right there. Now this piece of equipment isn't going anywhere. You got it hooked on this side, hooked on that side. Now what this rental company has done, they put this little piece of copper wire. And normally if you have excess chain, you wrap it around the handle just to prevent the handle from popping off. I don't know if you can see, but if this just gets hit just a little bit, sometimes they can pop off. But they've done here got a little piece of chain, wire that you can just loop around here, and that's just to secure it even more. So now this piece of equipment isn't going anywhere, the chains are super tight, always want to check, make sure your back chains are still tight, which they should be even tighter in this case. Yep, those things are super tight. This machine isn't going anywhere, you could stop in the middle of the highway not going anywhere so hope that's helped you guys out some if you're trying to load a dingo or operate a dingo hope that's helped you out and i'll see you guys on the next video and i hope you enjoyed this special edition he's custom creations video see you guys then